Welcome to the latest edition of the B. Andrews Radio Show, coming to you live from somewhere near the township of Plainfield. It is so good to have you with us today. That would be Plainfield, Wisconsin. Do you know how many Plainfields there are around the country? No, no Way idea. too many to even count. I think Plainfields, cornfields, cabbage fields. Pea fields. Potato fields. Okay. Carrot fields. Well, our field happens to be plain today. But anyway, that's where we're coming to you live from with a tower high atop of the Hambrock Hilton here in Hancock. I thought uh, it was our Hambrock Tower. I was expecting like you to Trump mess tower. up somewhere, but that came out okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep changing the intro? I, so that it's never the same thing twice. Well, it's Why a mess think? today. That's right. I am one of your tri hosts. I am. I am Eric Hambrock. What, 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 and what? met forehead. I heard very that. Very loudly. Everybody. Sounded there more was like a again. five head. I'm telling you. <laughs> and everybody heard it too. Is it empty? The hand. No, it's not now. Anyway, I am one of your tri hosts. I am Eric Hambrock. Across the room is another one of the tri hosts, one of the tri hosts, known as Emily. Say hi, Emily. Am I host number one or host number two? We have no numbers here. It's just... No, that's number 51. (laughs) (laughs) And that is the third of the tri hosts, and that would be Kay, the sound engineer and person extraordinaire. Say hi, Kay. Why do I always get the longest introduction? Introduction and it is always different every single time. Hey, it's the longest intro for the shortest person. What can I say? Anyway, and today we are coming to you on this beautiful day. I think it is January the 8th here in central Wisconsin. When we woke up, it was cloudy, <gasps> casted over, oh, no. and a snow shower was coming down so hard, so heavy, that we started getting an accumulation. And then... The sun broke through the clouds. They rolled away. The temperature cranked up to 36 degrees. All the snow melted, and the day was wonderful. And as the day rolled on, the we wind... We lost the sun. We lost the sun. The wind rolled in, and right now we're getting about 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts of wind outside. The sun has gone behind the clouds, and um, we're told that by tonight, this is this is what... The uh, the weather people say that by tonight it's supposed to be almost single digits and the wind chill factor is supposed to be below zero. It so, flew away after as soon as you looked. What can can we please keep our minds in this room? No. It's Wednesday, and it feels no, it's not. No, it's not. And but it, it feels, feels like, like a rather, rather blustery day, day today. Is that yeah. copyrighted? Uh, probably. Yeah. And now we're in trouble. Oh, no, Disney's going to listen to our tiny little show. (laughs) Hey, I might tweet this to Trump. (laughs) On Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I suck at spelling. This is, by the way, one of the things we pride ourselves on. This is a no Trump show. Okay, sorry. Can't say the name. This is a no (laughs) politics. So now I have to go back through and bleep out everything? That's Trump. Woo! Oh, snap. I thought it was Diamonds. They're a girl's best friend. But that does not make them Trump. Okay, so we're going. Clubs. We're going scatterbrained right at the moment. Somebody took our thoughts, put them in a shotgun, and blew them out. And our don't brains, hit the table. no. <laughs> our thoughts, anyway. So let's rein it back in, ladies. Shall we? Look, um, I will not be contained. <laughs> <laughs> So how did your Christmas break go? One of the reasons why we've been off the radio for so long, off the air, uh, Emily, was because you got sick. You we all got we sick. All got, well, you, I was like one of the last people to get sick. You lost your voice. In fact, you didn't do the last show with us that we did because you sat in the other room and sounded like Candace. I so, did not. No, she barely I was whispering. Couldn't. Uh, yeah, okay. I like I couldn't almost talk at all. What is that? What is that weed that Candace has problems with? Pa- uh, wild parsnips. Wild it's not parsnips. a weed. Everybody's allergic to wild parsnips. They're an irritant. They're not actually <laughs> This is the joke here. Excuse you for going rock climbing and bare feet and got, getting into wild parsnips. Yeah, I've actually gotten into wild parsnips. They burn and itch like Well, at least I you think had, that's like, what itching Michigan powder is made out of. Itching powder is made out of wild parsnips, probably. At least you had Lake Michigan to dip it in. It was nice and cold. You, you, it's always cold. You dipped in Lake Michigan? 
She did too. <gasps> oh. We did a full body dip in Lake Michigan, remember? Don't they call that swimming? We went rock skipping. You were the rock? I can't no. skip rocks. <laughs> we went climbing over rocks and then Threw fell into the water. Threw yourself out onto the water and <laughs> bloink, bloink, bloink. Actually, it was more like bloink. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 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 okay, to be fair, the very last show, I barely had a voice to speak with and I still did it. So we just well, let Dad do all the talking? That? And I still did it. <laughs> Pardon my puberty here. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> so how did your Christmas break go, Emily? Uh, what what did you do? What did you have fun with on Christmas um, or during the holidays? Uh, give, give us a little overview. My nephew chose me out of all people to walk up to and complain the fact that he had no more presents. <laughs> he looked me right in the eye and said, Aunt Em, I don't have presents. Where are my presents? And I went, that's not my problem. He goes, Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> I was like, you, you, okay, so be a better aunt. Get more presents. All right, Kay, your memorable part of Christmas? <laughs> you didn't hear that? No, that's the first I heard that one. Uh, truth be told, or let's make up a fantasy land of happiness. Truth truth be told. Are, is this like truth or dare only we're saying? I was asking for are, truth are, or was lie? I, was that like a question? <laughs> yeah, back at you. Tell the truth. I, uh, I did not know that we had a... A makeup lie zone here, you know, uh, um, totally against my Christian principles. Well, Prin- principles. I, ha- I have a Christian principle. Did you know that? You are my Christian principle. Oh, it's, that's true. His name is his name is Prickly. <laughs> that's only okay. when you go against the truth. <laughs> uh, well, truth be told, picking on the same nephew, he um, because I constantly run around and I constantly play with him because I'm one of the only people left at home. He... You only have two nephews and one can't talk. Yet. Oh, he can. No. Oh, he can. He goes, nah! and he screams at you. <laughs> That's communicating, not talking. <laughs> well, it's something. And um... <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Einstein. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> Story. Story. So... Wishbone. <laughs> okay. So. It's uh so we're running around getting this whole ni- live nativity thing set up and Car- Carson loves to play outside cuz he constantly goes we got to go to the magical land of Wisconsin where there's snow. It's the most magical Christmas tree in the magical land of Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That's what he told us. He looked at our Christmas tree and he went, "Look, it's the most magical Christmas tree in all the magical magi- world. No, it's the most beautiful Christmas, Christmas tree in all, all the, the magical, magical world, land of world of Wisconsin." Wisconsin. And we're like Okay. What? <laughs> so So now we got to hang a banner in our house of over the Christmas tree? That says that? <laughs> yeah. Cuz he Ma said it. Da. Yeah. <laughs> he constantly kept saying that. But he he loves going outside and playing in the snow. Well, during the Christmas activity, I had I was being an angel choir. Did you hear those jingle bells? She was being an angel. <laughs> Okay, continue. I'm sorry. That was for our listening audience to hear the jingle bells come As through. As opposed to our watching audience. Well, I'm, we're not recording this on video. Hold on. Thank God. Do you have your wings hey, yet? Do you have your wings yet, Karen? <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, we're running around. Well, he constantly had to be with me or with a family member because things started coming in and... Well, I had to stop watching him and hand him off to somebody else, and he was very not pleased with that. So Emily was the one who ended up getting him. And Oh, he was in tears. Yeah. He was mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> so he wa- he's walking around and grabs Emily's hand, and I pass by him saying hi, and he goes, See, Aunt Kay, I have Emily now. I don't have to rely on you anymore. Let's go. Yeah, and he dragged me out the door, and I was like, well, he's mad at you. <laughs> and I'm just astonished and go, I, you know what I got time for that. I got to go get dressed because this thing is about to start. <laughs> so that was funny. That's part of my Christmas time in the whole magical world of Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> wow. Okay. So uh, we also did uh, actually two of my most memorable things that we did is uh, this is new for me. Uh, we went and saw two movies. Uh, we oh, saw yeah. nearly back to back. Bumble, Bumblebee. Yeah, the new Bumblebee. The new Bumble Bumblebee. Is that what is it called? Bumblebee. Yeah, because it's just about Bumblebee. And, Bumbles um, bounce. 
I just know I went to go see a movie about Bumblebee. It's like, I don't know what the title is. I'm going to go see Bumblebee. But it was good. And, um, <laughs> well, is that what you saw? I, I saw a lot of Bumblebee. Um, that was it was it was a pretty cool movie. Loved it. Loved I loved the movie. It was really good. Nice throwback to the 80s. Um, and we were like the only three people in the back of the theater laughing at all of the 80s jokes they kept making. And the 80s music references. Oh, and, yeah. Everybody uh, wants to. Uh, copyright. 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 Um, and then went to go see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, I, I'm not, into Spider-Man fandom, I'm pretty much the uh, hey the the Amazing Spider-Man. That's me. That's that's about all I know. And so you know, seeing um, <laughs> Peter Porker and uh, Spider Ham and Spider Noir, that all Penny, that was Penny Parker, new new stuff for me. And yeah, Miles what's her name again? Penny Parker. Penny Parker. That's that's new to me. And uh, Miles Morales. Although I know about the name, but that concept is still new to me. Um, the ending was absolutely fantastic because it was such a throwback to what I knew. Yeah, because it brought in the fifth Spider-Man. It brought in Did the fifth. Did you know fifth... pointing is rude? <laughs> you pointed in... first. <laughs> but it was funny, and uh, it was it was pretty it was pretty cool. So I can I, I do recommend uh, either either one of those. I so wanted to see Into the Spider Verse in 3D. Did not get to do that, but got you would have to go had to go it. like on Christmas. Yeah, yeah. They they only do our particular theaters only do them um, at the first week of release. Okay, so I'm gonna harp on something just a little bit here. It might be a spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. Ring. Thank you very much, harp person. Okay, so but Penny Parker is not actually the acrobatic one, but she fights and has a. So what did they? What did she call it? Um, it was a spider bot that her father made her. But what it, what she kind has of a psychic link. psychic link with the spider that, that is inside of it, and she and literally, she's a computer whiz or yeah well, she's, she's Japanese a, she's Asian she, she's, she's <laughs> Japan it's a Japanese anime as she's an anime she's yes. not Japanese that's she's why an anime. <laughs> that, that's why anyway my 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 thing is that the bot gets destroyed so she can't go back with it in working condition and she's literally sitting there bawling her eyes out. That, oh my gosh, my spider bot. And my thing is that, first of all, isn't it that you have the connection with the spider inside of it? Which then crawls up her clothes and sits on her shoulder and cries with her over the fact that... Like a little friend. Yeah, Yeah. like a little friend that the robot died. And I'm thinking, isn't that That, what made the robot sentient? Exactly. (laughs) It's because it's the spider. So what I got at is that instead of being like, oh my gosh, the spider, you're okay. I'm so happy. Leave that junk behind. No, it's... We'll build you a new body. You guys are so over analyzing Spider Man. It was a little here. annoying. Well, I didn't know that you were th- harbored these feelings for this. Yeah, talk. for real. I was just like, <laughs> I have not been able to talk about it ever since we first saw it. So you picked the radio so show picked, to talk. Yeah, about. yes. Now? This is what it's supposed to be about talking, and I get to talk about my feelings if I want to. <laughs> okay, we're take going to need breath. to take a break here and do some therapy during our. During our break, uh, obviously, we'll, we're, we got to get Kay back online. Um, so she's, System reboot a, is not in process I here. See, I see a little tear. I mean, let me shut down. We'll restart in a second or two. Yeah, we're going to have to reboot. So this is a great place to go and refill on your cup of coffee. And uh, we're going to do that right now. So you get your refill. And Kay, come over here and lay on my couch. We need to talk about this. Well, and, you see, it all started when I was and born. And we'll be right back. <laughs> I I didn't know I had any of the symptoms. To the best of my knowledge, I had never had a problem before. All I did was enter the coffee shop and the lady behind the counter said, Morning, hun. And I looked at the glass case and saw my reflection. There it was, on my face. Smiley fascia. Smiley fascia, or smiley face, is a condition caused by feelings of uncontrollable joy peace or tranquility when the labs of pharmaceuticals unlimited comes to pressure the pressure is for those who are experiencing symptoms of smiley fascia or smiley face other symptoms may include singing whistling or in rare cases skipping not all smiling is related to smiley fascia seeing others knock down or in pain might also lead to smiling ask your doctor about the difference 
The Prussia is the first truly green drug, as we have used recycled cyanide, mercury, DDT, and a dash of sodium chloride. Using Depressia can help you lessen your carbon footprint on the planet. Once I started taking Depressia, I felt so bad, I didn't have anything to smile about. 85% of those taking Depressia in a lab trials experienced lung failure, kidney failure, liver failure, death, and death-like symptoms. While taking Depressia, do not come into contact with sunlight or be around uplifting people, and this may hamper the depressing effects of the drug. If you continue to have uncontrollable feelings of joy, peace, and tranquility while taking Depressia, contact your doctor right away, as this might be a sign of deeper psychosis. Depressia took the smile right off my face. If you're struggling with smalay fascia, there's light at the end of the tunnel, and it's an oncoming train. Depressia is not recommended by anyone and is not in stores. Depressia is solely a mythical product of Pharmaceuticals Unlimited and is presented by the Avlib Council. Ask your doctor about Depressia. Welcome to the second section of our B. Andrews radio show. So good to have you here. And as we are going along, I want to tell you and I give a shout out to Pocatella, Idaho. Yes, Pocatella, Idaho. Population, I don't know. Pocatella, Idaho. <sighs> Did I just rhyme? That was so cool. You got to anyway, read Dr. Seuss. We have, we have listeners in Pocatello, Idaho, and we want to say to them, thank you for listening to our radio show way out there, and uh, we're so must, glad that you're tuning in. Must not be much else to do. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, maybe you can uh, show up on our Facebook page and tell us a little bit about Pocatella, Idaho and what's going on out there. But we want to say thank you for listening. If that's or even how you on say Spreaker. it. Or place a comment on Spreaker. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. First of all, I thought these were segments, not sections. Yeah, I said section, didn't I? Second segment of the B. Andrews Radio Okay, just show. making sure, because I was really confused here. Is uh, Pocatella how you pronounce that? I have no idea. I'm totally making it up. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> what are, are we doing this segment? Well, before we move on to what we're doing in this segment, let me say to those who are in Pocatello, Idaho, that <laughs> if I'm saying it wrong, please write us and correct me. That would be awesome. So that way, number one, somebody will talk to me this week. And number two, are you uh, lonely? Actually, I'm, I'm lonely. And actually, I'll know how to say that, that place in Idaho. And we'll know you're listening. And we'll know you're listening. Maybe like so, Pocatello. Pocatella or something like that. P- yeah, Pocatella. okay. Could be. We'll go with that. All right. In the second segment, uh, being that this is our first show in the new year, we're taking a look at New Year's resolutions because everybody makes them, right? No. no. Wait a minute. You guys didn't <laughs> make a New Year's resolution? No, no, I went to bed and I woke up on a, on the next day. That's all I did. It's- and it was a new year. Did you know that? You woke up and... and, and the new year came in. Yeah. <gasps> no. And I didn't have to go to work because it was Tuesday. <laughs> no, I. Wow. I've we never... had a new year. I think it was on a Tuesday. <laughs> and, a, <laughs> and the pudding a made a fig. Mm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, and well, people do. They make resolutions about the new year. They're like, I did this. It wasn't that great last year. I need to change this in my life. So I the plan. I resolve. I am steadfast. What what, I I feel like national treasure, national (laughs) treasure, resolute. It was unyielding. It It was was firm. firm. Fifty five men in iron pen. Pen could be a prison. <laughs> For those of you who have seen, seen the, the movie. movie, it's a good um, movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. So, anyway, that's the whole idea. It was firm, it was resolute. Uh, and that's where we're half going the with this. Don't keep it. Um, is it half? Is it higher than half? I th- I'm, I'm, I'm not actually sure, but it might be higher than half now because of how lazy the generations have gotten throughout the years. Ah, so, hey, 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 yeah, you know, through the years. That starts with me. Now, I'm going all the way back to when you had to work on a farm constantly to make a living out of anything. Oh, that's before Now, me. everybody just gets iPods. What's that got to do with <laughs> resolutions? Everybody's lazy now. Besides, uh, 
All the resolutions I got are tweeted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, the the high the idea the con the concept of a resolution is the idea that I am resolved. I am going to change something in my life, and I will have the determination, and I will have the uh, consistency. I will have the integrity within myself. I won't, I'm not, I'm not going to cheat myself. I'm not going to cheat. And, and by the way, nobody else knows about it. So the only person that you cheat when you make that vow, that resolution to yourself is yourself, yourself, right? Nobody else will know. And so you're just you know, disappointed you with yourself, it, it either be disappointed with yourself or, or however that it goes. So anyway, so we have found the top 10 new year resolutions uh most, for 2019 most popular and so we'll start off with the least popular number 10 so drum roll please da, 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 i know i <laughs> there you go number 10 spend more time with family and friends that's actually a good one yeah, I, I I think that's a I think that's a very good one, especially if you have a really hard time getting along with your family and friends, or you're just constantly working so much. Well, or you you know really don't like your family and friends. I'm go I'm going for the more side of you want to go. You like your family, so you want to spend more time with them, but you can't because you're making money. No, I'm going for the happier side I of it. I would say that there's a problem with people just getting along, and that's the reason why you don't why do it. Why can't we be friends? Why, why can't, can't we, we be friends? friends? Yeah, totally get it. So, in, and by the way, to further clarify where I, I got my poll, I, I should do that. Um, hey, so that hey, hey, Dad. This. Hey, Dad. Where'd you get your poll? This is the, uh, it's by Peter. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this guy's name. He is at, uh, he's a biz writer. Um, and, uh, it is Peter economy. I can't believe that's actually a guy's last name. You can look Are you sure it's not economy. It, okay. Economy. Gotcha. Uh, Peter economy. And it is dubbed the top 10 new year's resolution for success and happiness. Um, there are 2000 people polled in this particular one. And so number 10 was spend more time with family and friends. So moving right along, number nine, number nine, drum roll, please. Ding. Drink less alcohol. Now, you know, in most of the places around the country that really doesn't you know, ring that, that that would not bring up trouble. It wouldn't ring anybody's bells. No, it, it really wouldn't. <laughs> but here in Wisconsin, no, when out of the ten most cities that have an alcohol problem in the country, seven of them are here in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. No, I, that that was another no, poll that, that we did one time. Oh, I, I can totally see it though. But that sounds we like have something four you would say after the ten new... miles. I was talking. Sorry, that sounds like something Aww. you would say. I was talking. Oh. That Sadness. sounds like that sounds like something you would say after waking up with a hangover on New Year's Day. You know you're Probably. right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It really does. Oh, my head hurts. I gotta drink less in 2019. Ugh. Too late. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, too late. Too, oh man, I've just had way too many of these this year. I gotta drink less in 2019. Um, <laughs> How so long has it taken that alcohol to leave your system since last year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Chris did that to me. You, you, you may, uh, you may. not not what you're thinking, but he made that joke accidentally. I might add. Okay. We, when <laughs> we went to go see Into the Spider Verse, uh -huh. he's. I said he's like. I haven't, I haven't done it since, you know, I haven't done it since last year. I mean, I think, I think you mean two years ago. He's like, what? I mean, 2018 was just yesterday. And he was yeah. like, ha ha. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that this is, uh, I think you got something there. I, I think this is a new year's resolution based on a hangover. Um, <laughs> this, the, yeah, probably. I, I totally see it. So anyway, that's 15% of the 2,000 people polled. They, they they put that in there. So that was number nine. Number eight. Drum roll. Ding. Uh, find another job. That's sad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it like find a new job or have another job? Yeah, find find another, another job. job. So I got a job. I don't like this one. My New Year's resolution, 
my boss stinks. I'm not working for him anymore. Like literally? I'm going to find another job. No, yeah, it could no, be I think literally. That's Jeff two doors down. I, I think he takes off his uh, his shoes in the middle of work. When he comes into the office, oh my goodness, you can't believe the swamp that guy walks through. <gasps> anyway. <laughs> he is a walking swamp. Oh, snap. Anyway, oh, life, so, yeah. <laughs> but, Creature and, from the and, black and 16, and it only outdoes the drinking by 1%. Yeah. <laughs> so, but at 16%, you realize what that means. It means that, you know, out of 2,000 people, 16% of them hate their job. Sad. And and they want to go find something uh, another place to go work and so anyway that's a, a so bad so much so that that is a New Year's resolution for them mm. okay number seven hold on hold on hold on, hold on. I, I, my drum roll used to be in stereo what happened <laughs> and my thighs hurt what <laughs> number seven number- I'm not beating myself up for your amusement. <laughs> It, it was for my amusement. <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. Drum roll, please. Ding. <laughs> I'm not sure what the ding is, but anyway. You're doing it. You're 17, the one dinging. 17% <laughs> out of 2,000 people said read more. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's number seven. Read more. And and you know what that, that means. These These are people who watch YouTube. Not necessarily. Yeah. People watch, people, no, no, that's not a defensive thing. The people who watch YouTube are usually on unap- YouTube. <laughs> New, what did you call it? YouTube. <laughs> New YouTube. Ah, not nude tube. Oh, I said new tube. Oh, <laughs> we were gonna have a talk. I'm no. telling you. Actually, no, no, not actually. YouTube doesn't allow for things like that. People can be taken off if a, if a dude's cool. just shirtless. So cool. Good. Somebody's got morals. I didn't think YouTube had them, though. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear. All right. So, no, 7%, seven read more. And and I, I got to be honest with you. Um, I have had a few years where it's like, you know what? I have not stopped to, to read actually a read a good book. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't like reading books. I no. No, I don't. No. Um, but <laughs> he falls asleep. But he can never get to the end. I still there's there's a thing. It's it's a, a something that I know that I need to do. But I do a lot of reading in my job. I'm I'm always reading things. You know, new idea here, this there, research on this, research on that, and so I'm always reading things. But a book is one of those things that I don't take a lot of time to stop and read. Which is why when you suggested that we do a book together, I'm like. I it's actually there. four books. He's not actually reading it, though. Aren't you reading it to him? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll take my turn to read if she'll let me. She I've already, like read. The, yeah, I've no, already she, read four chapters. She, she, likes, she like, likes the one. She likes to read. She, it's yeah. And, and I don't mind reading. Um, but anyway. So, yes. Yeah, 17%. Number seven. Read a book. Number six. Ding. Quit smoking. That's good. 21% out of 2,000 said quit smoking. Here's what I find interesting is that I think 35% of the population in America smoke. So if there's, if this is a smaller representation of the American population, if 21% want to quit smoking and 35, only 35% of the population smokes, the um, tobacco industry is, you know, really in for it. Yeah, but you also got to realize that's only like 20 odd some percent of 2,000 people who took this. I said, True. if this is a, an adequate sampling of the larger mass, it, it may not be. But nonetheless, 21% say they want to quit smoking. <laughs> which, Samples are never adequate. They're always too small. <laughs> <laughs> which, if it's, here's the thing. If the tobacco industry goes out of business because people quit smoking, I don't find that to be a problem. Well, you know, less people die. I yes. suppose we need to find new ways for natural selection. Uh, uh, okay, no, moving right along. Natural selection is all on its own. <laughs> yes, but na- it, it will happen on its own. Number five. Number five. Jump roll. Ding. Learn a new skill or hobby. That's boring. <laughs> Says the only person in the room is still you, in school. How do you <laughs> learn? How do you learn a hobby? 
to me, a hobby is something that you love to do. So get more involved in your hobby, maybe. But I don't know how you learn. A hobby. Well, you learn something new and you make it your hobby. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So moving right along. Number uh, four. Number four. Drum roll, please. It's starting to have a rhythm to it. It's not a roll. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> she had to ding. Yeah, okay. that means move on. Save more and spend less. Saving money. No. At Menards. No, no, that's copyright too. Is it um, really? Yeah, yeah, it is. Probably. Okay. They say Menards. How is that not copyright? So save more, spend less. Save more, spend less. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, I think a lot of people probably need to do that. Uh, help with your debt load and to get that down. So save more, spend less. All right. Um, I'm getting the wave at from the uh, sound engineer over there and our trusty producer, Kay. So this is obviously where we go and take another break and we will come back, finish our top 10 list of, of resolutions and share with you some quirky resolutions that other people have made. So get your drink and we'll be right back. Hey, if you want to be a part of the show, connect with us on Twitter at B Andrews Band, all lowercase B A N D R E W S B A N D or I am us at Facebook by going to B Andrews. That's first name B B E last name Andrews A N D R E W S. You're listening to the B Andrews radio show. Welcome back to the third segment of the B. Andrews oh. radio show where we're singing Ode to Our Dog, but we can't <laughs> quote it back on air. Um, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong tune. <laughs> yeah, very, very much wrong tune. When we left you, we were talking about the top 10, the top 10 uh, resolutions for the new year. Aren't we on number four? Uh, no, we are actually on, uh, I thought we were on number three. Yes, we're on number three. Oh, so we cool. have three left. Uh, we've gone through all the rest of them. If you want to know what they are, review the first uh, segment two. Uh, 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 <laughs> why? You what what are you this? trying to say? Uh, what I said. Review, review segment, segment two. two of Did the, not come uh, out like that. B. Andrews Radio of Shoe. The, of, this, uh, of this show, and you'll find out what the top, what the bottom seven are. But now for the last three, starting with number three, resolutions, most popular of the top ten resolutions. Wait, let me guess. They're all related. 2019. Well, they, they're more than cousins, that's for sure. <laughs> are you ready? Drum roll, please. Dong. What? <laughs> <laughs> Number three of the resolutions for 2019 is lose weight. Fifty-four uh, percent of the people say they need to lose weight. That's more than half. You you realize what that when when somebody knows within themselves that I, I need I need to lose more than a few pounds. Where were you when you lost it? Uh, I don't know, but I don't want to go back and find it. I, I'm, I'm no, donating. it finds you. Yeah, that's yep. true. <clears throat> you don't Every have to find you, oh, especially take, at Christmas I'll be time. Watching you, especially at Christmas time, you don't have to find weight. It will find you. Mine was eggnog. Yes, I I overdone the eggnog this year. You know, it what, was worth it though. You know what I didn't get that I wanted? I was so looking forward to it, but I can't. I couldn't say anything. Schnecken. That's right. I wanted Schnecken. Oh, I wanted Schnecken so bad. And Schnecken. <laughs> but so bad. But but I couldn't do I couldn't do Schnecken because when the wife says I'm no. done, I'm not working anymore in the kitchen. You you don't suggest, honey. Could you she, make one of the most difficult she, pastries ever? <laughs> she she actually promised us pretzels. We shall claim that promise someday, young one. And someday. And someday. If I can. If no, I you can't. Can. I'm going to collect a pretzel the same as my old man. Oh! <laughs> yeah, what's the, what, 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 the, what are they called? Pretzel? Bites. Pretzel bites, yes. Yeah. So she said she would. She... We'll collect on. Uh, but, but Funny when that story. Day, yes. 
the reason why she said that is because I'm sitting here. I paid six dollars for a giant thing of yummy pretzels, and I'm sitting here eating them. And I offered them around. They, they were, were yummy, yummy pretzels. pretzels. Why wasn't I there when you had this? Because you, you decided were... not to go. No, she was. She was there. She no, was she... in the store. No, she wasn't. Oh, you weren't. No, you weren't. You weren't there. If that I was, was there, the I would have gotten pretzels. Yeah, you would have because I would have offered she you shared. Because those who care share. <laughs> 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 Anyway, so I offered one to mom, and she goes, mm, they're so good. I can, you know, we can make these. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's it. I'm going to make them, because I can make them better than this. <laughs> Here's what she said. Challenge yeah. accepted. <laughs> she, mom threw down the gauntlet. <laughs> I know. And as far as I'm concerned, Kay and I volunteered to test that theory. Oh, yeah. We looked at them. Me and Dad looked at each other and go, yeah, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, we can I'll, totally we'll, taste we'll, that. You know, I'll, we'll check it and see how you and, do. And, and mm-hmm. we'll vouch that they're the best. Yeah, so she, she gives me the more. recipe. I'll and try. you know what? If they're not, we'll keep complaining until you get it right. Oh, don't do that. Why not? Well, if I can't make it right, you can just make it yourself. No, she's never like that. She'll go back and do it until she gets it right. Yeah, yeah. if that's... she's the one complaining about it, uh-huh, if you uh-huh. oh, complain no, about no, it. No, 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 no. See, that's the secret is to go, yeah, they're they're good. But they're I good. Think just no, 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 you, know, you don't, wrong. you don't, you don't, you don't say anything. You just, yeah, they're, they're good. <gasps> oh, something's wrong with them, aren't they? Back to the kitchen. Oh, I got to try this again. To the kitchen. <laughs> and anyway, <laughs> what was you that? Know what? Did she listen to this show? No, mom. Yeah, she stopped. She stopped a while back, but she used to. Okay, because like you know, if she hears this, we're dead meat. Well, we actually no, <laughs> you're dead meat. We actually keep talking her about her. Uh, we uh, mm, <laughs> <laughs> cannot compute. <laughs> cannot compute. <laughs> it was it was a sentence in code. It's for real. I know what she said. I cannot think of what I am trying to say. So give me a second, and I will get back to you. Cannot compute. That was. Wow, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> We actually talk about her a lot on this show, surprisingly. Yes. yes. I'm glad she doesn't listen to it anymore. She actually stopped in the middle of when you and John were doing this. I know, because she'd play it out loud, and she'd go, oh, another episode's out. I have to keep catching up. I'm like, six episodes behind, and that's the last I heard about her having to catch up. <laughs> and that's when she lost it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Number all right. Number two, ain't it? Well, uh, it depends. <laughs> uh, you okay. We need that. And number two is very much like number three. Drum roll, please. That was really short. <laughs> so is the person doing it. <laughs> Thanks. Ding. Dong. <laughs> Mom's shorter than me. Exercise more. Now, not only do we know that we need to lose weight, number three, but we also need to exercise more. There you go. What's so, that face? I just read something in the corner of the room, but I'm not going to bring it. In, like, I'm not going to say what it was. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? No, no. Okay. Hold on. Is so, it that corner? No. At, at 65% people polled out of 2,000 people, wait, 65% wait. know that they need to exercise more. Wait, isn't adding up all the percentages supposed to make 100%? No, so, no, 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 no. No, because different people get I to, hate percentages. People get to vote in different categories. So a person okay. may have voted multiple times. Okay. So sixty five percent. So one of the person people, could add for like three three different percentages. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. So but what you're doing is the category that gets the highest percentage is where people's thinking is right here. So that's what's going on. So yes, sixty five percent of the people said that exercising more is a New Year's resolution that they have made. So we need to lose weight. We need to exercise. I, I, I'm just getting this mental image is that there's this guy that works where there's two or three flights of steps and he's up on the third floor, and wherever that huffing, is. And he's and huffing every, every time day he goes up. He he's goes huffing. to walk that and he's like, oh, I I need to oh, I need to exercise more. Well, wouldn't you, you know have what? an elevator? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I you, you stole my thunder because I was like, oh, where's the elevator? I'll just <laughs> take it. <laughs> Cause that'll end up being what he does. I, I almost guarantee it. When he because he will not keep his New Year's resolution. 
Am I a Debbie Downer here? He will walk around the no, corner. No, you're a Donnie Downer. Okay. And he will walk around the corner and he will punch the button to the elevator that will take him up the three flights of steps instead of walking it. Isn't that like one, 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 one? Uh, mm. <laughs> she's stuck again. Somebody smack her. She's no. like a broken record. She's skipping. The only thing I have to throw at her are very hard things you don't want thrown at you. Yeah, no. One the... Oh, wait. One, no, one, I can throw the... this. One floor. <laughs> Where's those foam things go? I can throw those at her. Where are they? Yeah. Uh, go, go ahead. Get, don't, yeah, okay. Go ahead. What, isn't that just one floor? Three flights of stairs? Or is that a floor and a half? Is that how that works? There's a flight per... Floor. Floor. She's talking okay. about staircase because you know how you have to go round and round and round to go up. Right. There's a usually set, like they usually cut it in half, and there's usually two there's usually per two, one. Yeah. But but the entire thing's called a flight of steps in okay. between floors. Is that the bumble? Was that Grandpa on his nose? Grandpa's nose. I can't believe it's playing the flight of the bumblebee. No, not that silly. Smooth jazz. Get the mariachi band. All right, all right, all right. Our listeners may not know where we're going with that. So please, let's stay on task. So people know that they need to exercise and lose weight. You, If you know that... Never mind. I won't. Just because I know it does not mean I'm going to acknowledge it. That's deep. That, that, so that is let's a whole just new no, elephant no, out of the room. No, it's wide. <laughs> That's a whole new kind of denial right there. But then again, we're living in a country of people that are really having a problem with denial. denial. All right. Re- and the Egypt. number one New Year's resolution for 2019. K, drum roll, please. <laughs> Diet or eat healthier? I believe that's Wait, a did, die. With the the T is silent. Yes. <laughs> did, did, did you realize that it didn't say eat less? It just said diet, diet. or eat healthier, but not eat less. I, I you find know, that even rather, if you're eating meat, if you still eat too much meat, <laughs> you're still eating too, too much. much. You're overeaters. Yeah, seventy-one percent of the people. That were polled, 71% of them said that they needed to diet or eat healthier, which means that it includes the other two, which is um, exercise more and lose weight. So those are the top three uh, New Year's resolutions for 2019. Now, here we have something very nice for you. (laughs) Mm. Sure. And for your entertainment that we wish to... If that's what um, you want to call it. It's it's for our entertainment anyway. I got so, a kick out of it. So that we will we will have discussions and diatribes about. These are K, okay, what is the category? Uh that's today uh, is not a day for uh, all. Yeah, yes, we, it is. She's done it three times. <laughs> <laughs> weirdest uh New Year's resolutions. And these are things people have willingly gone on and tweeted about. To put it out there. So us making fun of it or talking about it and it's free game because it's it, on the internet. It's totally free game. <laughs> it, it's it's what they decided so to do. So if it. you're dumb enough to put it out there publicly, we're gonna be smart enough to laugh at it. <laughs> if that's what or you we're going to it. enjoy it. We're oh, totally. totally. We're going to enjoy your lack of intelligence on things. Okay. So behold, you have there's ten of these. Uh well there's <laughs> technically twenty, but we're only able to use ten. Yes, because the other ones, I think, had a bit of crudity that we shall not repeat. Is, you know, that, we, is that what you're saying? We'd love to That's tell you. Said. We'd love to tell you, but the dad sensor won't allow it. All right. <laughs> very, very good. All right. So. We're starting from the bottom. Starting from the bottom. Does that mean you start? <laughs> does that mean you're starting with the special, <laughs> with the special mention? Is that right? Uh, no, no. No. The special mention will be mentioned. When, 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 when will you do the special mention? <laughs> I don't know. Do it before you do the number one. Okay. So just before number one, that we did have one special mention category. All right, so go ahead. Number ten is number nineteen. My resolution just, just is number to... ten. Don't confuse the audience. <laughs> but I love that. Number. My resolution is to find someone to kiss besides my dog. They are. Lonely. You know, if she put that up, is it she or he? Um. Um. Jesse. <laughs> that I could go either help. way. That doesn't. At, 
<laughs> at Jesse Girl. Jesse Girl. Oh, okay. You know, Jesse Girl. After you just admitted to everybody that your dog is licking your lips and cleaning your gums for you. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Uh, I just I just that's want you to know, works. I don't think there's too many guys that want to follow that act, if you know what I mean. So you should. At Jesse pro- Girl, reminder, please brush teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, th- even if you brush the teeth, I can just see that there's some guy who's leaning in. Getting ready to give you that, and all he can see is some have, dog. No, no, no. Who she's, has been licking got, there? She's got dog's breath. <laughs> oh man! So Jesse, I'm sorry that you admitted that publicly. You probably shouldn't have done that, and you might get kissed more often. Oh, and one other piece of advice: gargle with Listerine. Okay. okay moving first on. Of all, first of all, she didn't say her dog kisses her. She said she kisses her dog. Yeah, I know. Hey, I wonder if her dog's a Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> mean poodle <laughs> all right i'm sorry if you make it public it's free game that's uh, that's all i got to that say. Heads up. has gone broken <laughs> heads up these are just the jokes he's making he's not actually saying that she literally kisses the dog she's most likely kissing him on his head like on the top of his head like how i kiss maddie sometimes dog sometimes. has the dog sometimes has times if i'm being the friendly. dog has fleas just just saying Currently? What? Not uh, Maddie. I'm talking about hers. How do, how do you, you know? know? <laughs> Stalker. Number nine. <clears throat> From Tony Snark. It's. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Eat more Applebee's. Yes. I am totally with him. Forget about the top three categories and the what other people say. I need to eat more Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, but Applebee's like section off your meals for you to tell you how much calories each. They do. Meal. It's true. They do, so which you is have really to order good. Twice. And 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 they have meals that that you can share with somebody else. So they're you're only eating half. They have yeah, the two. They have the two no, for you 20s. probably wouldn't. They have the two for twenties. You All know, right. so that's good stuff. Yeah. All right, number eight. It is. Uh, Morgan. Ah, uh, Morgan. Uh, Morgan? <laughs> no, just Morgan. Ah, <laughs> uh, Morgan. Morgan. Their New Year's resolution is to be able to finish a burrito from Chipotle. It must be a skinny little thing. Morgan is skinny. Yes, yes. Uh, we know this from experience. But male Because or we female? have seen skinny people go to Chipotle. Looks like and- female. Okay. Yeah, I guess Morgan is another one of those names, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Um, so anyway, Morgan, um, you know, when you go to Chipotle, take a chubby friend. <laughs> <laughs> we took we took Amberly. She was too, too skinny. skinny. <laughs> she couldn't make it. <laughs> Number seven. The irony is Amberly used to work at Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number seven. I don't know how to pronounce that, so we're just going to go right into the resolution. My New Year's resolution is to randomly sew one sequin onto every piece of piece of clothing they own. Okay, I got one word for this person. Just one? Lonely. There's so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you could have at least I mean, said it in the same key. Yeah, <laughs> it might have helped. I mean, my good one sequin, just one, just one, on every no, piece. just just one big one, like one the size of a dinner plate, and they'll sew it onto the front like it doesn't plate. matter. Just just one on every piece of clothing. I got this. Get out the seam reaper, rip it off, use it as a plate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six. Yeah, but when you think about it, like people would be like, "Is that there's something on your clothes?" And they go to pick it, and they'd be like, yeah. "No, leave it alone." Yeah. Oh, that would be. Such it would drive a, there's one nuts. person at, there's one person at church I know that would have that they're like honey there's something on your hun- I can't look, honey they would something. literally pick at it until they like ripped it off and you're like don't touch that yeah. don't touch me there this, this is my no no square <laughs> <laughs> okay what is it oh girls let's go number I don't remember six. seven six I think yeah okay is New Year's resolution is leave my dog alone. Hey, you kids, leave, leave my, my dog, dog alone. alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I can't go anywhere with that. So, um, you know, if you're if you're pestering your dog and tormenting your dog, 
Good for you. Okay, number <laughs> five. Lesser beings. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of beings? Lesser. Lesser beings. <laughs> I always thought they were lasers. Beings. No. <laughs> beings. That's beams. Laser <laughs> beams. <laughs> laser beams. Lesser beams. I wonder. I wonder what the greater beams do. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to a trumpet, then you sound like a tuba. <laughs> Launch. <laughs> Launch. All right. So, <laughs> number ladies, five. number five. New Year's resolution. It's become more of a recluse and wear paper towels. As mittens. <laughs> they want to be the crazy cat lady. In town, I, I guess swear. so. Um, and and they do. You know, well, okay. Advice to you is become more of a recluse, but be sure that when you wear your paper mittens, to use brawny. Samantha Darcy. Samantha, use use brawny paper towels. They'll stand up a lot better. I thought it was just brawn. Is it brawn? I thought it was brawny. What are you even talking about? Well, the paper she, towel brand. Paper towel brand. It's Downey? literally a lumberjack on Downey? the cover of the. No, yeah, Downey is. Downey is, is, is softener. Yeah. That, bounty. Cool. I mean, bounty. Oh, bounty. <laughs> Bounty's the one. Bounty's and supposed then to be Braun. the quicker picker upper. Oh, put those on your hands. <laughs> well, look how fast I picked that up. <laughs> hey, mean, Mr. Sticky Fingers, give that back. <laughs> that's right. You know, it's so absorbent. I put my. Ooh. Hey, I know how to lose more weight. <laughs> give me those quicker picker uppers. <laughs> 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 if I if I set my hands on my belly, oh. maybe something will come out. <laughs> that is what we call it, the process of diffusion. <laughs> I thought it was osmosis. But okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what right. was her name again? Uh, Samantha, Samantha Darcy. Samantha. So we have two recommendations for you. I thought I only had one, but it can either be Brawny or Bounty. Okay, but whatever. It's get broad. tough paper towels, girl. <laughs> Next. Number four. Woohoo! From Nikki. Her New Year's resolution is Manage? don't smoke. No. No, what does that dude call her on that on that meme? Midge. Nikki Minjaj. Hey, mi- mi- Nikki mi- Minjaj. Mi- mi- I can't even do it. <laughs> I know how to say Minaj. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki Minjaj? Minjaj? Yeah. Yeah. Minjaj. Okay. Anyway, go ahead, Nikki. All right. New Year's resolution. Don't smoke weed at school. Good for you, Nikki. Just don't smoke weed at all. Uh, I'm... I'm speechless. Maybe it is. So Nikki. is she. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she giggles a lot. <laughs> Nikki no. Minna, min, n- Nikki. Min, <laughs> oh, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. just stop. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Mess it up your own way. It's not well, even Nikki Minaj. It's just Nikki. Yeah. No, I'm thinking. You're thinking. Is it <laughs> Let's go to the beach. beach. Uh, I, I feel sorry for Nikki. That's that's what I'm thinking. It's like when you have to make a resolution to quit smoking pot at school. There's something wrong here. Yeah. High school, college, school, <sighs> just school. Yeah. Number number, f- number three. Number. I, I I there's nothing I can really say about that because in a sense there's there's little to joke about there. Just Nikki, don't do it. Okay, let's go. All right. New Year's resolution is to get an... Wait, is this the right... Yeah, this is the right one. Is to get an easy bake oven and make weed brownies. How do you know when they're done? (laughs) (laughs) The oven light goes off and it goes... No, because that's the um, only thing that's in the oven is the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's that's what it uses to bake with. I don't think your brownies who, are quite done, but you are. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is, why are you cooking pot in an easy maybe, bake oven? Maybe to make it harder to find. Are those pot brownies? No, sir. My daughter made those just yesterday. <laughs> In her little easy bake <laughs> oven. <laughs> oh, what a cute little girl. Here, can, can I, I have can one? I have one? No. 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 She they're... made them for her daddy. Mm. <laughs> no, those are for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two. <laughs> New Year's Revolution, they say. <laughs> yeah. Learn how to spell. <laughs> New Year, it's the New Year's Revolution. Who are you revolting against? <laughs> Myself. I don't like me. No. It's I just, will win. No, oh. it's to stop fancying a slice of buttered bread with every meal. I wouldn't. That is a revolt. I would not <laughs> revolt against that. Against your taste buds. Especially if it's fresh bread with real butter. 
Why would you I may re- be, You may think it's butter, but, but it's, it's not. not. It's chiffon. That's actually copyright. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Seriously, anyway. I was getting ready to say it's boogers. <laughs> <laughs> you can still do that. <laughs> you can do that one. Uh-oh. You know what, though? I'm sure there's some kid way back in the past or, that has a copyright on that. <laughs> <laughs> or he could be like, you may think it's butter, but it's not. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> hey, Barnyard Breakout. Uh, ooh, that, ooh. Sounds like, that sounds like a keeper. You all have borne witness to the birth of a new joke. <laughs> Major, Major Bacon. We oui. write that down. We oui, one Capitan. Here you go. No, no, no. <laughs> not now. Anyway, oh, leave it. Leave it for the oh. barnyard. It's not loaded. <laughs> okay, I re- I remember the I remember it though. Uh, the number. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was one? number two again? We didn't. We, yeah, what was we number went two? On such a diatribe. I think we skipped. I think we skipped a couple numbers. No, no, we didn't. no, no, no. It was no, number, number two. two was uh, fancying a slice of buttered bread for every meal. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's oh, right. Oh, honorable mention. Oh, that's right. The revolt. And before we do number one, we have to do the honorable mention that didn't make the list. Well, that's because it was on another list. Okay. So what's the honorable mention? The honorable mention is my New Year's resolution is to change my relationship status from forever alone to slightly desperate. Whoever you are, wherever you are, my heart goes out to you. So turn on your heart light. <laughs> Come on, Let it that shine laugh. wherever you go. Uh-oh. I think their light just went out. Yeah. <laughs> Due to um, bunch of guts. <laughs> wow. To slightly desperate. I, I, you know, be careful. Just, just be careful. Whoever you, you are, the, and I know you're a man. Just, just. How? Because it was his picture on his Twitter. Oh, oh I was, was going to say, to me, that Twitter. sounded totally like a girl. <laughs> no, it was a guy. Maybe that's the. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Can't go there. Can't Don't. go there. Dad censors. Come and back on. Number one is to stop using my cat as an excuse for a boyfriend. What's his name? Okay, okay. Who was that by? Uh, some. Now get this. I'm pretty sure. It was an Asian female. Amberly? No. <laughs> no. For those of you who don't know, Amberly is our Asian cousin who owns two cats. Yeah. Ooh. One's male, one's female. Th- they and they hate, hate each, each other. other. <laughs> but they are both of her babies, and she doesn't care. She will snuggle them both as they hiss at, at each, each other. other. In her arms. Hey, that'll keep the guys away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, listen, whoever you are, if you're using your cat, as a reason to keep dudes away, keep using the cat. And if you have to carry it with you wherever you go. There's it, purses for that. It, there's there, purses. there really are. There really are. And it's okay. It is better to have a good cat for a friend than to have a bad boyfriend. It's it's true. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, this is another place to take a break, isn't it? I'm looking at the producer. She's shaking her head, but it looks more like a bobblehead kind of thing. So uh, go get a refill on the beverage of your choice, and we'll be right back with a little good news. Well, you know, it's time for a little good news. Let the sun shine through for me and you with some good news. Today's good news segment comes from a website called Sunny Skies, with a Z. On January 7th, 2019, a police officer was seen and photographed having lunch with a homeless man who was sitting on the side of the road in Madison County, Tennessee. Elizabeth McLean from Jackson, Tennessee, took the photo and shared it on her Facebook page. This is what she wrote. Imagine this. You are sitting on the side of the road, and for whatever reason, everything you own can fit in a backpack. It's 42 degrees outside. You're lonely and hungry. You put your head down to try and forget the scream of hunger echoing in your mind. Then you hear the sound of an engine stop, and you look up to see a uniformed officer walking towards you. Your mind flutters, thinking of everything you might be doing wrong. And suddenly this officer just sits down, pulls out his lunch, and not only takes away your hunger, but your loneliness too. This is exactly what Patty Crow Walker and I witnessed on our lunch break today. I don't know this man or this officer, but what I do know is that today they made a difference. A difference in the way I think and hopefully a difference in the way you think as well. I've always supported the blue community, but something about this officer truly touched my heart. 
This is the side of the law enforcement no one sees. Social media shows the tragedy and hides the testimony. This sheriff's deputy made a difference today, and no amount of hatred towards his profession can take that away. Among all of the troubles in today's world, we are all too often to forget one important thing, that we are all just human. We are not black or white, Democrat or Republican, liberal or conservative. We are only human. Everyone deserves love and respect. Everyone deserves to feel important. Our beliefs or opinions shouldn't affect how we treat other people. We all need each other, and it's about time we pick ourselves up off the ground and start acting like it. So share this and see if we can show this officer that his act of kindness didn't go unnoticed and pay it forward the next time you feel called to show someone love in a world filled with hate. Thank you very much, and I hope that that was an encouragement to you and to remember that if you made a New Year's resolution – keep it your integrity is on you you're the only one who knows about your resolution so hold your integrity tight and i hope that your resolution isn't something that is uh, flippant uh, or irrelevant but rather something like what we just read and that is about making a difference in this world be resolved about it and um, go out and do it that's one of the biggest things that we could ever hope to influence other people to do. So make a difference in your world. That's what we're trying to do with a little uh, hope, a little bit of humor here at the B. Andrews Radio Show. So it'll if we are making a difference in your lives, let us know about it. But go out and make a difference in somebody else's. That's all the time that we have for today's show. Thank you for listening. Catch us on the web, uh, on Facebook, and on iHeartRadio. Hey, and if you enjoyed it, share it with somebody else. Thanks a lot for listening, and we'll catch you next time. 